jumping on Rengar because you get so much movement speed after jumping out, but Bloodlust, or Warlord's Bloodlust is really great if you plan on getting a lot of crit because it's going to heal you by a ton. So you just customize your champion. <laughs> That's the whole point of the new Masteries, guys, is you get to customize your champion. You don't have to just do cookie cutter. You can play fast Rengar, you can play heal when I crit Rengar, you can play fur of battle Rengar. You just customize your champion, man. That's the whole point of League of Legends. That's why we don't play Dota. You get more customization with League. Don't don't fall into the trap of just going cookie cutter, man. Just have fun. How do I feel about Ramus Jungle? Um, I'm sure it's good, but I don't like it because it's you're playing Ramus and Ramus is boring as fuck. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lux is pretty bad right now because she's forced to play against so many AD champions and her early game's bad. And the game is really fast now, so, yeah. Alright, you want to take your W second since you're not going to go to blue right away. My place is at the top. And in my experience, it's a bit better to make sure you take less damage in the jungle. Who questions my ability? Every mistake is a lesson. First blood. All right, we're going to go to Krugs. We're going to skip red, but put our trinket ward on it to make sure it doesn't get stolen. This is one of the better ways to clear the jungle now. You just want to do the smaller camps. And then go back and do your red and blue if you're playing a weak jungler like or weak early game jungler like uh Wukong. Alright, now we wanna go back and probably uh, we didn't need that potion. Probably buy uh Hunter's potion. That and then start clearing. An enemy has been slain. Ooh. The Remus. The Remus. Oh no. Remusla. Make sure you keep your Hunter's Potion going when you kill the camp. If you're at 5 stacks, you definitely want to make sure you use the Hunter's Potion before the camp goes down so you don't lose a stack. Got it without me. Cracking nibbly. Alright, this guy's gonna need some help pushing this in, I believe. I was afraid of this. <laughs> I was afraid of that exact same. I was afraid of that happening, and it did still. Feels bad. At least they gave me a kill. Alright. 
our, let's go do our red first, because it's still our first red. That's not diveable, man. That is like, you dive that Aurelia, she stuns you under the tower, you die. Actually, mid lane might be more gankable right now. Just looking around. Fuck her up. Batana! I should have just backed off. <laughs> I like have a problem when I play Wukong sometimes where I'm just like, I won't back off because I'm still in my ult and I'm like, alright, I'm going to finish them. I'm going to finish this guy. But uh, Aurelia does quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. And kind of destroyed me. But if we had walked back the... I think the Karthus ult would have finished him. So we probably just needed to stealth and run away, but I was like still spinning to win, and then I lost. So, <laughs> poor, poor little turtle. Poor little turtle. An ally has been slain. My place is at the top. <laughs> Sometimes the jungler only has to just sit in the lane and wait for his bot lane to hit 6. I saw Kennen with 6 in Sona 5. Usually that means that they're going to hit 6. The support's going to hit 6 really soon. Um, let's grab the, the Ruva Crab. Actually, we could, we could get a kill mid real fast. Maybe a kill or two. Run to me, run to me, run to me, run to me. Please. Okay. <laughs> All right. She's got 340 movement speed. I have 345 movement speed. She has 340. I hate this game. <laughs> oh god. I was I was planning on just going for the suicide there to kill her. I knew I had more movement speed than her, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Actually, got. Th oh, yeah, yeah. The five more movement speed, not enough to catch her in that small of a distance, I guess. So greedy there. <laughs> My journey's only beginning. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Uh, I don't even need Hunter's Potion once we get the jungle item. It's kind of dead weight now. Kill them all. Okay, we're all dead. Get a guard this. Soda time. Alright, you got them all. There you go. <laughs> Where's. Oh, how do I l hold all these long swords? So many long swords. Alright, let's get the Rift Herald. No more playing games. Let's close it out. Oh, Rageblade Cannon. You know, I bet that's freaking great. I bet Rageblade Cannon's amazing. Rageblade on anyone is good. But uh, on melee champions, it's a bit better since it stacks up faster, but I would imagine it's still quite strong for range. Especially range that can use both. Rammer. Dude, she's tanky. She's so tanky with that Rage Blade. Just kidding. <laughs> that armor pin from uh, Ramus' E has armor pin plus my already natural armor pin. Plus Q shred. Yeah, my ult doesn't do very much damage, does it? This is like peace. Yeah, I want to get rank two ult. My rank one ult just feels so bad now. Oh my word! It's almost more damage for me to just auto attack at this point with the with the E attack speed steroid. I guess maybe I didn't get my Q off on the Nidalee, and that's why it didn't do very much damage to her. Because if I if I Q her early, we get that early armor shred. The ult damage is a lot is a lot stronger. Bring me. I mean, it lasts for three seconds, and your Q has a five-second cooldown. So as long as you're like auto attacking, you can keep it up for a good portion of the fight on the targets you need. You got it. Ramus, <laughs> coming, coming, run to me. My place is at the top. She's gonna dash to the minions. Situation. Still no Rift Herald. 
Neither team is taking a rift a rifty. Get him. Oh. Get her, I guess. Ooh. Oh, that was close. My place is at the top. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Get him. Oh my god, what is that happening? <laughs> is that the hurricane? Oh man, I accidentally queued a minion because I, I interrupted the auto attack and tried to move. We have so much damage now though. What am I gonna build? What are we dying to? We're dying to a lot of physical damage, but show me the path. Never settle for seconds. See you, Karthus. The rest of their team from top side was going back. Yeah, Hunter's Potion, after a certain point, just gets pretty useless. Once you get your jungle item, it's it's just you don't need sustain anymore. But you know, there's still a good portion of the game where you don't have it early on. My journey's only beginning. Oh 
shit, they know. Our first dragon. My place is at the top. The radius to step on new Caitlyn traps are a bit smaller than the old traps, but she can place more of them. So you can still sneak through them, just be careful. Actually, I don't know if I could kill the Caitlyn. If she's got summoners up, it could be risky. Because she can kite uh, melee really well now. Place down traps while the fight's going on and fuck me up. If Ram is dead, I for sure would have. <laughs> I, I got it for you. In spirit. I don't have my ult. We probably shouldn't force something, but let's do it. Who questions my ability? Ooh, that was risky. I tried to Q smite at the same time, but I got stunned by Baron. traps yeah don't get into a bad habit of doing what I do sometimes I try to smite from a higher radius combining like one of your spells and if that's the moment you get CC'd you sometimes will miss smite because of it but it also is a way to guarantee you get it in some situations where it's a smite off that wasn't really a smite off they didn't really have anyone in the pit come out and fight Kill it! <laughs> no, the inhibitor respawned. You trolls! Oh my god! <laughs> no, no! And before we lose this game, it had one help on it. Oh, that was funny. Let them win, Bible Thump.
why it's super low. <laughs> Man up, Ramus. American XBK. <laughs> I'm using the um, Thunderlord's Decree a Keystone, 45% CDR Wukong. Show me the path. to all situations. Do you rate that's better than fur on Wukong? Uh, you know, it's 